and basically just change the collection from grass to plants and we'll get some nettles and some dandelions in our scene. Hey everyone, welcome to my new video. Today I want to show you some of the new features of the Blender 5, specifically the new scattering modifier. And because with each version Blender ships with more and more of these cool pre-made geometry node setups and this is one of them. And I really hope you will enjoy this one and if you do please don't forget to leave that like. And if you're new around here and want to learn more, hit that subscribe. Now Blender 5 is not yet fully released, it's in beta. Um, so if you want to get it, if you want to try it out, you can just head into the blender.arc and you can download Blender 5 Beta right here or you can go into the download page and scroll all the way down where you will find experimental versions and here are all the builds you can try out and you're looking for Blender 5 Beta right here. Though be careful because even though you have the window selected here, there are two builds, one of is X64 and one is ARM. Download the ARM version only if you're certain that you have the ARM architecture CPU. Otherwise, and I think there'll be like 99% of cases, just go for X64, click download. And once it's download, it's just a zip file that you unzip and you can just launch the Blender launcher directly from within the folder there's no installer from the beta version and once you have it up and running um i have this scene open right here um this is actually some of the assets from my latest course specifically the car you're able to build in the course so you can download this scene um in the description if you want to play around with this if you want to check out the car model um and i have some of the assets from polyhaven um right here and i want to scatter them all around um this terrain so we can utilize the latest blender modifier for that so i'll just select the ground here and go into the modifiers and if you go and add modifier generate you will see not only we have a new array modifier here but we have the scatter on surface modifier so let's just click it here and now i will have to tidy it up a little bit because this mesh underneath my car is quite dense because i'm using displacement there so to make things easier a little bit i will just move it above this so we're only taking this geometry into consideration and the way the modifier is built is really cool because if you don't have any object selected yet it will show these placeholder boxes around which is very cool and first of all i want to scatter some trees around and there won't be too much of this uh, because i don't want to overload the scene so instead of density method i can choose the amount method right here and reduce the amount you can see the thousand right here i can reduce this to something like 30 so let's say i just want to scatter like 30 trees around my scene and also you can choose whether your surface should be visible after the scattering or not which is very useful thing and now down here in the instant sync we we'll actually choose some objects and i placed my assets into these respective collections so we have grass plants and trees so all the trees right here are placed within the one collection and I can now just go ahead, switch this to collection and choose the trees collection. And you will see immediately the trees got scattered. But right now this is scattering the whole collection. So for each of these points, basically all of these trees got scattered. So you need to check pick instance if you want to randomly pick just one instance. And now you can see this is much better. And now if you expand this, um, you will see whether you want to reset transform. If you don't do this, um, basically they will be shifted based on where they're positioned in the collection so make sure the reset transform is on as well and yeah basically now we can take care of some transformations um, another very useful checkbox if you want to align rotation with your surface now for some of the assets this is very useful but for the trees i want them to grow directly up so we can just disable this and now they will go straight up and a part of scale, another super useful thing, we can adjust the surface offset because as you can see, some of these models um, have these ground scans and I want to offset this down a little bit. So you can just use this to offset and bury them in the ground basically. And now of course you can choose some base scale. So if this is too large, you can, for example, modify this. And then we have some randomized options. So let's click this let's enable the randomization because what i really want to randomize is rotation around z-axis so let me put in 360 degrees and now you can see each of these instances will have different rotations which will really help with variation and realism of your scattering 
and now you can of course adjust the scale there's one number for the uniform scale randomization so you can just increase this and some of the trees will get smaller while others will remain tall and it will again add a little bit of variation so not all of the trees are the same here and of course you can play around with the seed so if you don't like the randomization you can switch to different seeds and the same applies for scattering so if i collapse this here's another seed that will basically reorganize your scattering quite randomly based on the seed you have selected and now the other thing i definitely don't want these trees to grow where the road goes so we can use this distribution mask right here and it can be fed through some dynamic data like vertex groups so let's go to the object data properties and let's create a new vertex group and let's tap into the edit mode here and basically right here we can set the weight to one and hit assign and now if we change this to weight paint mode you will see the whole thing is red so there is full weight applied on all of the vertices but now we can reduce the weight to one and out paint some of the parts so let me show you how it works i will for example out paint this section right here and now in the modifier we can click this you will see everything disappear and we can choose that group from the menu here and now we have the trees back but not on the places we out painted and this is how you can basically control your scattering in your scene and you will see how this jumps around a little bit so this is how you get rid of everything here in the middle let's make sure everything is out painted you can make this larger if you want something like this and now if we go back to the object mode this is what we get here some nice trees around and you can always change these you can for example add more trees with the mount so if you add 40 or 45 trees it will nicely follow all the rules that you set here now let's select the ground again and let's collapse this and let's go and set another one of these so i'll go and add scatter on surface again and again i'll move it somewhere here and now i want this driven by density not the amount because i want to scatter grass so there will be a lot of it so let's keep the density and let's switch the distribution to poisson disk which is just you know a nicer randomization method and let's try to reduce the density to something like 0.1 for now and you will see these boxes are a reflection of that though they're appearing on the same places as the trees as you can see and that's because of the same seed of zero so if you change this you immediately get different variation of your scattering and now make sure the scatter on instances is off because that would scatter the grass on the trees as well because it goes second in the modifier list here and that's how this geometry node setup is built um, it's quite advanced it kind of takes into consideration that you want to stack more of these over each other um, so you don't have to copy the terrain so let's again pick collection here and let's choose the grass collection and again i will choose pick instance with reset transform and you already see some of the grass appearing here and now we can increase the density however you want but again i don't want this to appear in the middle of the road so i can just use the distribution mask that we created earlier and use this group right here and now you can see we only have scattered objects on the side there and let's take care of some transformations here um, this time i want to keep a line rotation and in the randomize again i want to rotate this on 360 degree randomly and i want non-uniform scale and let's make the grass a little bit larger here on the main scale setting and let's do some randomness here so yeah that's basically how you scatter objects here and now you can play with the density you can go all the way to 30 so you have some more grass in your scene and will look nice nice and dense here and now i want to use similar setup for the plants so i can just duplicate this right here and basically just change the collection from grass to plants and we'll get some nettles and some dandelions in our scene and again i will switch the seed here and reduce 
the density to something like 10 so there are not too much of those in our scene so that's basically how you can use the new scattering geometry node setup um, in blender um, it's really powerful and i'm really happy this is here because in the older versions you would need to do this either with particles or build this yourself which of course can have its advantages because if you explore this this is actually how the modifier looks underneath it's just this geometry node setup and if you have the ability to go in and change some of these things or build these things from scratch that's a huge advantage and that's where my course comes in because you will learn how to create similar scattering yourself and most importantly understand how geometry nodes work and additionally build some cool features for example if you only want to scatter in front of the camera and not behind to reduce number of objects in the scene and geometry notes is only one of the six parts of the course and i'm so happy it's already out and so many of you are already jumping in and creating your car animations and there's still some early bird offer available so if you're interested please check out the link in the description but yeah this is how you do the scattering in blender 5 and i hope i will be back with some more videos on blender 5 some of its new features and i really hope you enjoyed this one and again if you did please leave that like and if you're new around here and want to learn more hit that subscribe thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day yeah.